This video will demonstrate how to change and manage color in the Paint Synthesizer Editor. Please note all these edits will work for auto, assisted, or manual presets. For demonstration we will be using an auto paint preset, acrylic simple bristle 2A located in the auto paint collection and natural media category. When I press action this preset is programmed to follow the color scheme of the source image. But if you want to make this a grayscale rendition instead of a color rendition, you simply toggle at the bottom of the preset window to open the editor. Next choose the Paint Color Source control panel. Next to Color Mode is a pop-up menu with a lot of color choices. I'm going to choose grayscale and then press action. Now the lotus is being painted in grayscale. Let's choose another one. MaxSat LHS. This one creates a very saturated image. If I choose one with palette in the name, it will use the current source color palettes to generate the color. See more about this on the tutorials on color palettes. I'm going to now turn on loop action so that we can do some real-time edits to the color with a few of the other settings in Paint Color Source. Under Color Mode is Start Option. Start Option is used in conjunction with Color Randomization and Offset. It specifies two different things. First it specifies what is being randomized in the color. For instance, hue, luminance, saturation, RGB, or value, as well as opponent or analogous color mixing. And second, it specifies what happens if the randomized color is outside of the range of possible colors that can be displayed. This includes clipping, cycling, or wrapping. Offset works with start option. If start option is using hue, then offset will change the hue. If start option is set to luminance, then it will offset the luminance by either making it darker or lighter. Let's try a few things. Right now it is set to clip luminance. When I change the offset, you will see that the paint gets darker or lighter depending on where the slider is. Next I will try hue setting you will see that it is now changing the hue. For RGB, I will bring up the randomization a little bit so that we can better see the effect. Try all the various color modes and start options and play with randomize and offset to see what effects you can get. 